All right, Elite Laser Tag Field Owners. My name is Matt, aka Crixus, and today we're going to show you how to use your Elite Laser Tag Upgrade Kit to upgrade your tagger from Legacy to Revolution. Uh, it's a re relatively simple process. Let me go ahead and show you the tools you're going to need. And I apologize if anything shakes. First tool you're going to need is a 3 16 T handle. You're going to need a 7 64 T handle. You're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers. You're going to need a micro flathead screwdriver. And you're going to need the, um, I know it's kind of hard to see in the black here, uh, the Allen wrench that came with your scope when you first purchased the uh, taggers. If not, I'll uh, get the size of this. I don't know it off the top of my head and I'll put it in the description down below. So, first thing you're going to need to do is take off your barrel cover which just slides off. You're going to flip it over. You're going to use your Allen wrench to take off your scope then you're going to use your 3 16 T-handle to take off the large body bolts and the 7 64 to take off the small body bolts. Now for the sake of time, I've gone ahead and done this in one tagger already. It also helps if you have a uh, catch tray. I've got a magnetic catch tray here. Um, don't put it up against a tagger, but they are good to catch all the nuts and the bolts um, and everything so that it's easy to find them. So, we're going to take the tagger. We're going to put it screen side down. We're going to open up the tagger. And this is what you should be seeing. Now, the only difference is right here. Let me see if I can zoom in better. So, the only difference between what you might be seeing on the screen and what you have is right here, instead of a splitter cable, you have a red board. Or, um, or excuse me, instead of this red board right here, you have a splitter cable. They serve primarily the same function, except for the red board allows you to use the, and with legacy models, allows you to use the new heavy duty head sensors that we make. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm basically just gonna carefully unhook everything from the board, starting with the red board or your splitter cable. And take that out. I'm gonna unhook the power right here. I'm going to unhook the battery right here. I'm just going to take everything out piece by piece. Leaving this hooked in here in the back of the screen. Once I've hooked everything out of the board, taking my 764 T handle, I'm going to remove the screws here and here that are hold the board in place. Now, there may be a, a screw here, and there may be a screw here as well, or, uh, you know, just take all those two to four screws out carefully. And again, it helps if you have a catch tray. We're going to go ahead and put those in our catch tray here so we don't lose them. Like that. Uh, and if you notice, I'm working on an anti-static material. Uh, I've also got myself grounded. Uh, I've got an um, anti-static bracelet around my ankle and attached to the, the table because static kills boards. All right, so this is my board. Don't need that anymore. Now, I'm going to take my needle nose pliers. And you can see right here, I'm going to grab the IR disc. I'm just going to pull straight up and it comes right out. Okay? That's all the equipment. We don't need it anymore. Now, taking everything out of this, let's go over a few things here. So, this is the kit that you will be receiving from us. Uh, the only difference between what you're seeing here and what you make it in your kit is this radio might actually be black instead of blue, and that's fine. But you have your board assembly. You have your daughter board assemblies. 
and you have your muzzle flash assembly. Okay? So, we're going to bring our tagger over and take our ribbon cable. We're going to put it to the front of the tagger. Just like this. Out of our way. We're going to take our muzzle flash assembly. And if you notice, there's these two white dots right here, these two white squares. The goal is to have them going straight up and down inside this little nook. Now, when you put it in there, if it moves around a lot and spins, you can put one dab of hot glue right here to hold it and while you're assembling. Um, it shouldn't though, I mean, uh, you can see I'm kind of picking up the whole tagger by it. It does sit in there fairly snug. Now let me see if I can get a good. Sorry, I'm playing with new toys. Okay. All right, you can see there I kind of have it. There we go. There we go. You can see I have it as perpendicular, so it's going straight across, and the tagger's going like this. Now that we've done that, we're going to take this cable and we're going to run it in between the black and red cables. So you got your black button cable and your red button cable. We're going to run it between those. Now if your gun sensor, which is this guy right here, hold on, get this out of here. There we go. Now if your gun sensor and your screen cable are not already ran this way I highly recommend so this is your gun sensor cable it's connected to your gun sensor this is your screen cable it's connected to your screen if they're not already ran between the black and red cables go ahead and do so now and you're gonna want your gun sensor cable to come up very carefully and you notice I'm using the blunt side of this to gently push and move the wires where I want them that way I don't damage anything and if you can see, I've come, I got it coming underneath the nut and in between the wires. Then I'm going to take this cable, I'm going to put it between the red and the black wires, and out. This will keep it from getting pinched when we do something, when we assemble it later. Then we're going to very carefully, with all those wires in between the red and the uh, black cable, we're just going to gently push them down like that. That'll kind of hold everything in place for us. I'm going to take all the wires we just messed with, including the yellow wire coming from your trigger switch right here, and we're going to bundle them all up and run them straight like that, and then pinching right here, approximately where these two nubs are, I'm going to pinch right here, and I'm just going to bend the cable up, putting a natural crease in it just like that, and I'm going to lay it down. Uh, it also helps if you include the speaker cable in this bundle. There we go. So basically, if you look here, you can kind of see here, I've got all my wires coming to this point. Uh, do not use zip ties on this. A lot of you will be tempted to. Uh, if you have to come back and fix something later or replace a component, you now have to cut that zip tie, and it's unnecessary. So go ahead and just very gently into place. Now you've got your head sensor cable in the back here. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to gently put a little crimp in it so that it, or crease in it so it comes out here. Now, taking our board and our 764 again, we're going to gently put only a couple of threads in there so that the screw is in the board like this and I'm if you notice I'm doing it to match these brass inserts now your brass inserts could be here or here depending on how your gun was made at the time your tagger was made at the time so you want to go ahead and match your screws to whichever they were in initially if you notice I've got the power cable connected and out of the way okay we don't want that to be part of it what we're about to do so I've got my back cable here making sure that it's not between the board and this nub I'm going to place the screw down on the board. I'm doing the same thing here, making sure none of those wires are in the way. Now holding down in the center, just enough pressure to keep it down, I'm going to go ahead and turn these screws in, holding everything in place. 
just like that. And they don't need to, it doesn't need to be extremely tight. It needs to be fairly tight though. If you do it too tight, you're going to pull those rivets out. So, and if you hear any squealing or squeaking, uh, pull out immediately and then re try to redo it again. You could be cross threading your, your gear and you don't want to do that. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to check each of these little nubs and make nodes and make sure that there's no wires between the nodes and the board or anything else. Making sure these wires aren't hooked around the SD card, stuff like that, stuff that could cause a problem later. All right, now that that's done, we're going to locate the wire that is connected to the screen. That's this bl In this case, it's a black wire. Newer guns, it should be a yellow wire, but it could be any color. It's the single wire in a tomb pin connector that runs all the way back to the screen. I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver, I'm going to put it in the slot right here, and I'm going to put a very light amount of pressure on it just to pull out the pin. Okay? And then I'm going to reverse and put it in the next one. And you're going to, I'm going to be quiet here because you're going to hear an audible click when you do this. All right, I don't know if you guys heard that. A little audible click. Once I do that, I'm going to plug it into the board where it says B and L. Now my wire should be hooked into the, the B part of that. I'm next going to find my speaker wire, and the board's labeled for you, so it's not hard to do. This little speaker here, I'm going to click, put my speaker into the speaker wire, um, take my muzzle flash cable, I'm going to put it into the muzzle slot, I'm going to take my buttons, I'm going to put it into the button slot, just like that, and I'm going to push all these wires down. Now I'm going to take my daughter boards, take my flathead screwdriver, and I'm going to make sure these little, very gently, push these little resistors so that they're inside the box. This should have already been done for you, but you want to go ahead and double check and make sure that these, this resistor is inside these little white boxes. Once it is, we're going to gently plug in the gun sensor and the head sensor jack right here. We're going to give it two, one or two twists, depending on how much extra cable you have, just so it's together and neat. See how it's, it's neat right here? And we're going to plug it into the two sensor slots. Then we're going to take our 764 and gently push all these wires back towards the board away from the edge here. Now that we've got that done, we're going to take our ribbon cable. Let's see our ribbon cable. I'm going to plug it in right there in the board. Make sure you get all the pins. You're going to come here, take your thumb or your finger. You take your thumb or your finger, you're going to push up on this. See how I push all the ribbon cable, all the cables up underneath this? Then I'm just going to gently crease the ribbon cable. And if you want to push it very gently underneath the board a little bit, that's okay. Don't don't like do this with uh, any kind of poking or prodding tool because you can rip the ribbon cable. Just you know, give it a little nudge with your finger just to keep it in place. And then I take it down, fold it twice. You can see right there it's a little Z pattern. So it's flush as flush as you can get it against the tagger. Now that we've done that, we're going to click our battery back in. And this is a very important thing that you need to know. It's extremely important. Right here is where you plug the battery in. Black is the negative, red is the positive. Before you plug it in, and you notice this little tooth right here? So I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little, a little tooth on the edge of this. It's going to be facing towards me. So I'm going to make sure that my negative and my positive are going to line up, because if not, you can fry the board. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just slide all my cables, notice, I'm using this as a pointer, not a pusher. Notice I've got my battery cables over this nub here, and I'm just kind of tucking it all, not underneath the board, but below the board, so that when I put the clamshell together, it won't pinch. Now, I've got all my components installed. I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to sweep this back, then I'm going to take my pinky, I'm going to pull this forward, and as I do, I'm going to move my hand out of the way. Voila. All right. It's all together. I'm going to make I'm going to follow my seams. I'm going to make sure 
that I don't have any pinched wires. I'm gonna make sure my lens is there, okay? I'm gonna look down the muzzle here. I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen. Doing this upside down so it's hard to do. There we go, uh, uh, I had it. Yeah, there you go, you can see it now. All right, so I look down there and I'm making sure that my muzzle flash hasn't moved. Then I'm gonna take just one of my long bolts. I'm gonna put it in here, in the top part, put one of my long nuts in there. Then taking my 316 uh, T-handle, I'm gonna tighten that guy down. All right, so we've successfully installed the board. Now let's test it. So we're gonna take our tagger key, we're gonna put it in. We're going to turn it off and take the key out so we don't accidentally break the board. It'll start booting up. Now I've got a game box already set up over here. Um, the game box that I have set up is set to Defender. It's set up to do a light back of three hits and it's got a ridiculous amount of life. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down this. I'm gonna shoot at my game box. And there you go. I'm gonna hold down my black button, making sure my light turns on. Once you've done all this, you successfully tested the tagger. Now, if you're doing multiple taggers, you're gonna to wanna to do get this far with all of your taggers and then take one tagger and test it with the radio. So I have my spare tagger here. I'm gonna put it in ref mode. I'm gonna put my key in, hold down the red button, turn the tagger on, remove the key. Remember, if this bulb is ever flashing, do not turn your tagger off. It's loading a new mode. Once it loads into referee mode, I'm gonna go ahead and do a referee new game. RF commands, new game. And that lets me know that the radio is working. Let me turn this off. That lets me know that the, the radio is working. Now that we've done all that, we're gonna turn our tagger off. Got anything else we're gonna turn it off to. And we're gonna go ahead and put all of our nuts and bolts back in. We're gonna put our scope back on. We're gonna put our barrel cover back on, all right? Again, using the 3 16 for the larger. And we're gonna be using the 7 64 for the smaller. Again, this has been Crixus. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, or you can reach out to us in any of our emails or phone numbers.